what's up techies i'm back with another video in this video i'm going to teach you how you can inspect browser dumps to see if they store your password in plain text <clears throat> so this can be useful to investigate if a certain website or application is storing your password in plain text which which is a bit of a risk but not so much so for this video you're going to need two things one is called the process explorer it's a cool uh, application by microsoft just search for process explorer and click the first link you get and download that and install it i won't do that because i already have it and then the other thing you will need is winhex uh, so this is it so you can just download it from xways this one just come here and download the, through this link from xways.net so to explain to you what winhex is it's just an editor that is capable of reading binary so while most uh, text editors just read text that's the alphabet um, the hex winhex can read binary that is zeros and ones so you will need this so download the two winhex install it and download uh, process explorer and install it then after you're done with that go to the website that you want to investigate or to see if it stores your website or it stores your password sorry in plain text and open it so for this one i'll just uh, out of curiosity i'll just check my ebay so just log into ebay so on ebay uh, i will just log into ebay So now I'm logged in to my eBay. So what you need to do then is once you're logged in, log out. So log in and log out. So why, what we are testing is to see if if when you are logged out, the browser dump still has your password in plain text. So once you've done that, go and open Oh, please remember to leave the browser window open or running don't close the browser then open process explorer the application so it will show you the different applications that are running in your that are running in your computer so what i need you to do is look for explorer or the Fire firefox or the browser that you used so for logging in there i used firefox so i'll go to firefox at the bottom here uh you will realize that it has a uh, nodes so just go to the parent node and click on that right click on it and click create a dump don't create a mini dump create a full dump because you want everything then uh save it somewhere i'll save it in documents call it firefox 2 it will take a bit of time and then it finishes creating it's done so once you've created the dump also please note this kind of dump you can create directly with the task manager but i just prefer process explorer because it's more specialized then open winhex once it will display this if you don't have a license but they allow you to use the variation copy anyway just click ok and i will just close this dump i had previously so what you need to do is go to file open the documents firefox 2 this is what we just created open that so you see the, the browser dump has been uh, loaded here in binary zeros and ones and all this kind of stuff but on the right pane here 
you can see some some things that are being interpreted in plain text so what you need to do is to click on these binoculars which allows you to find text also list make sure that this checkbox for listing is there so that you can list up to 100 so then what you want to search here is for password just click on password so it has all these hits so what it tells you is that it have seen all these entries for the word password so just click on one and you will see it will highlight where that password the word password has been used so continue us using the drop the downward arrow to scroll down and at the same time checking at where the hit is so that you see if your password has been used anywhere in print text um so this can take a lot of time to go through all the hits so the easier thing to do is since you already know just allow me to delete this since you already know what your password is you can just go here and search your password if maybe it's a b c d or whatever your password is search for it and when you click ok if your password has been stored anywhere in plain text it, it will show you where the heat is you can see for this instance it's zero times because of course this is not my password so that's the short video of how you can investigate if to see if a certain website or application stores your password in plain text um, so what can you do if you actually find that it stores in plain text so if it stores in plain text what you can go ahead and do is um, when the browser prompts you to save the password just say no and you can do some settings which I can show you in another video so for now that's it I hope you enjoyed it learned something cool so subscribe and follow catch you later